doll collectors, gift givers, and fabs and besties. From the Barbie Signature Tribute Collection, here is the Vera Wang Barbie. Success isn't about the end result, it's about what you learn along the way. Vera Wang. I bought this doll online at MattelCreations.com, priced at $40. It shipped pretty quickly. I'm going to carefully open this box to get the doll out. And I don't want to ruin the box. Ah, uh, they put the stand in the frame. It's right there. I had to open the little side to get it out. I can't say that I loved that, but that's just me being picky. She comes with a doll stand, a certificate of authenticity. The doll has black hair stopping around the hip. She is dressed in an all black outfit and we have some layering. There's like a wide cloth belt around the waist with a half zipper. It is removable. Then there is like a long sheer dress that gathers at the waist. It's sheer at the top. Then it has cloth puff sleeves that are opaque. Then it is sheer again at the bottom. It extends past the hand and hangs down. There's a slit in the front and it says love at the bottom. The doll is wearing a plastic suit underneath, so there might be some concern about staining. It snaps in the back. Once removed, the doll is wearing a black romper. I like the neckline. It's a little sheer. Oh, look at that. On the back of the doll, it says genuine Barbie. I removed the protective plastic. This fabric is delicate. You don't want the Velcro to hit it. It might snag. And you want to take care to not have excessive pulling. This doll has an articulated original body with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and she does have painted fingernails. They're black, movement at the hip, and she can bend at the knee. She comes wearing black socks and black shoes with silver painted buckles. However, I do have a little bit of rogue paint on the side. But personally, I will gladly take painted accessories any day. Her face sculpt is named Vera Wang. To me, it's very realistic. It's got a matte finish, no shine at all, soft, delicate makeup. I think she is quite lovely. Because I am staring at this doll so closely, I do notice a little bit of a smudge in her lipstick but I still absolutely love her. Kind of wish I bought two, one to leave in the box and one to take out, cause I want to add her to the shelf. And I don't think I truly appreciated this doll until I took her out of the box. Personally, I would like to see more dolls with realistic matte faces, just on made to move bodies. But that's just a personal preference. I know everyone doesn't agree with me. But if this is what we can expect to see from the tribute collection, I'm interested. The Tribute Collection celebrates visionaries whose incredible contributions have helped shape and impact culture. Vera Wang is an iconic designer and businesswoman who grew her brand from a small bridal boutique into a fashion and lifestyle empire. As I'm over here reading the back of the box, that gives me an idea. Let's use the box to make one of our storefronts. I printed off our shop door we will also need foam board, a thin piece of cardboard, and fabric. I start by measuring the cardboard to fit inside the frame in the box. Cut it out so we can cover up all the little cuts in the box. I am not going to glue this down because I don't want to actually change my box all that much. Take the cardboard out of the frame. We can cover it with fabric, but I think I want to cover it with contact paper. I've been using this for everything lately. It's just so convenient and I like the shine. Plus, I already have it, so why not use it? I just cut little tabs, then fold them over the edge. I cut some thin strips of gold contact paper and we're just going to add some lines. We've been doing this in our Roblox map, Miniverse 2, and I've just kind of fallen in love with it adding a little more interest to our background. Let's just place it in the box. 
On the clear part of the box, we're gonna push these little tabs so they face out. Close up the bottom of the box. Place the frame back inside to give the inside of our box a new look. Cut out the printable door, glue it onto foam board, lay the box next to it, trace around it, cut it out, cut strips of foam board to make a frame. I have foam board on the sides, a little tray at the bottom, and a piece along the top. So I can slide the box in place, making sure those little tabs are down and it stays put without having to glue it down. Frame the door with more foam board. Add a small plant on the side to make a new storefront for our town. Now we need a dress. These are dance tights. I got them at Target for $4.99. I picked up a large so we can get the most material possible. These were in the children's section. If you go with adult tights, they will be larger. I wrap it around a doll to see how much I need to make a tube. For me, four and a half inches will work. Cut large circles or circle-like shapes out of the remaining fabric. I cut as many as I could and some are in varying sizes. From the leftovers, I cut a strip that's about two inches wide. Let's make a cut in the center, then cut up the back, gently pull to make cords. I got another pair of stockings to make more circles. I don't think one was enough. Now let's take all the circles and sew a zigzag stitch around the edge, pulling slightly so it kind of ruffles. Then lay it down, fold over the top just a little, and then we're gonna fold this into like three parts. So let's go over and down. Did you see what I did there? Hmm, I don't think this is going to be long enough. So I took more stockings. This time I'm cutting a seven inch piece, then cut it up the side so it can open up. Repeat to make two layers, then cut it to about four and a half inches. Now this is going to be the length of our dress and we're gonna sew our circles to the bottom. To sew them on, I have my dress with the good side facing up, and here are my circles, and I'm laying them good side facing down. I have two sizes of circles, a large one and a shorter one. I'm just gonna lay it on top, then flip it over, and line it up with the bottom of the dress. After going all the way across, sew a straight stitch. This was a lot of bulk for my poor sewing machine, but look y'all, I'm making my own core goo dresses. Here's the top and here's the bottom of the dress. Yep, it looks like we're making another mermaid dress, <laughs> but it is still mermaid, so yay! The top of the dress is two pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and line those up. Then take the little cord we made and we're gonna just twist it and put it at the top. Then fold it in half with the good side on the inside. Adjust your pins if you're using them. Match up the raw edges of just the top. I don't worry about the lower half. Then sew a straight line. Trim off the excess, flip it inside out, place it on a doll. I make sure those little strips we added to the top go around the doll and we can position them however we want. We can use it as a little belt under the chest that crossover pattern gives it a little interest. We can stretch one over the arm and take it up to the shoulder for a different look. Stretch them over both arms, making a cross at the neckline or push them off the shoulder, crossing the chest. If you wanted, you could use a needle and thread to pinch it so you can get a little sweetheart top. Place it on a mannequin, then into the shop window giving us the storefront to a bridal boutique in our miniverse. Now we need to give you a made to move body. I think this Barbie might be a good match. So I remove her head and add the new one. Give her hot water rinse, repaint her nails, and add some jewelry to give our doll another look. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the Vera Wang Barbie. Like, 
comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!